overall, I felt as if I improved mentally and physically, you know, adjusting to the offense. It was hard in the beginning, but overall, you know, just repeating it day after day, I'm improving good, learning the plays, and we getting better each and every day. What was hard in the beginning? I would say the tempo. Um, I mean, last year, it's a lot quicker, and it's a lot learning the plays mentally, but overall, I just got it down pat, and we're making improvement. Did you find that maybe you weren't in as good a shape as you thought, given the tempo of the offense? Oh, kind of. I mean, this, like nowadays, it's still kind of hard. I mean, you know, learning plays and out there going fast and the signals is all mental. So if you fatigue, it's going to bother you mentally. So overall, you have to have two and two to be out there to be focused. Are you playing different receiver positions or are you staying at one spot? I'm staying at one spot. Uh, you know, it's times Coach he have told me that, you know, you know, in his past, he haven't had a slot go to wide out and go vertical. So at the end of the day, my role is arm slot receiver. At times, it looks like the passing game is struggling a little bit. What do you have to do to get better in that regard? Uh, we just have to step up, you know, realize, you know, the others are going and just continue, you know, have that chemistry, that bond, and work hard each and every day. I think there's a lot of pressure just because, you know, everybody's so new. I mean, all you make quarterbacks and your receivers are new. You guys put pressure on yourselves to really speed things up. I mean, I won't I was say so much pressure. Uh, it's just a lot you have to get done. You know, spring is, is, a, is, a, is a very big, you know, on, on comparison to next year. So we have to get out after early and get prepared for fall. And as a return guy, where are you factoring in there? I know Coach told us he's still not settled on the punt return. We saw you working kickoffs the other day. Are you, are you working at both? Or, you know, how do you feel they they have me working at both. Um, we have a lot of guys doing it. So right now we're rotating. So I, I, I believe at the end of spring, he'll make a decision on who starts. Where are you more comfortable, kickoff returns or punt returns? Well, coming up, I did both. I was more of a kick returner. Punt returner I can do as well. But over the years, I was more leaner towards kick return. So I'm practicing that, repping that, and getting better at both. What's it like? You know, you, you put that one on the it wasn't on the ground. The ground caused the fumble on Saturday. But then, co you know, coaches on the megaphone, you know, pointing out you you got to secure it, you got to yeah. secure it. What's, what's what's that wrinkle like on the practice? Uh, I'll, I'll get mad at myself. You know, he's mad at me as well. But at the end of the day, I take I be hard on myself. You know, I should have protected the ball the way I came down. There's no excuses. So I just plan on correcting my mistake. What did you make of the noises during practice? Sirens, babies crying, all that different stuff. Uh, it's just about you know try to distract you, be mentally focused when you're tired. And you know, just getting your eye to the signal. So that's a that's a good you know practice slash getting us prepared for game because it's going to be loud. And at the end of the day, we're going to have to be mentally tuned in and be ready to roll. Does it make you more focused, or are you over there laughing about it? Well, it make you focus. I mean, it sounds kind of throw you off, but at the end of the day, when you're on that field, you got to be ready to roll. And, you, and I mean, it's business. Did you hear him when the baby was crying? He said that sounds like my colors. <laughs> yeah, I did. But you know, <laughs> Cutler's, Cutler's got a deep voice, so we knew that wasn't him. <laughs> what, was, what was just your initial reaction, just the first time? Because I think it was a was it the baby first? Does that sound it right? It was early. Yeah, I think it was. The, I think the first noise was a baby. What, what was just kind of your initial? I, I, said, I never heard that noise <laughs> before. At natural. I mean, when hearing a baby crying in general, that noise is kind of similar to it, but I know Coach Reason behind it, and at the end of the day, we kind of took it all in and just did our job on the field. How much do you guys need that sort of thing with your first two road games being at Oregon and at Florida with those kind of crowds? Oh, we need it because we know, you know, Oregon got a big fan base, a big stadium, same as the Swamp, and you know it's going to be live and they're going to be filled with people. And like I said, you know, we're going to be in their territory, so we're going to be mentally prepared physically. we got to go in and attack. Coach Azani's a real stickler for running precise routes. Do you feel like that's made you a better route runner, even the early spring? Yeah, his expectations and standards are very high. And, you know, with that man said, it's making me a better receiver, making us all better. And that's what we need, you know. A lot of us got to pick it up and be ready to roll. Do you feel like you've improved a lot in that regard? A lot. Mentally, physically, you know, learning techniques, the, the break, the get out your stem, you know, stem the receiver, get out your breaks, low drive. Um, get our press press coverages. So all that stuff that he have taught us have helped us on the field. They get better as a wide out. One thing Coach Jones just talked about is having somebody that could be a deep threat. Do you think you could be that? Yes, sir. I mean, my, my speed helped me a lot on the field. And like I said, the techniques Coach Azani have taught us, we kind of use that as well. So and that helped you know, us <coughs> and benefit us when we're going against defenders. Tennessee could have three receivers drafted this year. I'm just wondering, it has that reputation as wide receiver. You, I was wondering, when you were being recruited, how much did they kind of bring that up during the process, and how familiar were you with Tennessee's reputation? There, I mean, right? Tennessee, you know, their reputation on wideouts. You know, Tennessee, when Tennessee offered me, I was familiar with Durant, familiar with Jay Hunt, and I know those were two great wideouts. And I knew, you know, coming in, it would benefit me being around those guys, learning what they can do and what can help me overall, and learn from them. So. I think that was a big benefit of me coming here, and I enjoyed playing with them. And overall, you know, what they have going forward for the draft, 
you know, just accomplish more. Do you know, did you know any of the guys from the past, though, like the Joey Kent's, the... I wasn't, I wasn't quite, I, I didn't get to, um, you know, play with them and get to see them, but I have heard of them and have watched them on TV. But overall, those players that are older than Jay Hunt and the Rick have bettered them along the way for their future now, and that's something Jay, Jay Hunt and the Rick Rogers, because their passion have done for me. How much responsibility do you feel to kind of continue, continue that tradition? Just, just be a leader and, you know, come out here and remind ourselves that we're Tennessee wide receivers, and when we wake up, it's time to grind. What was it like hearing, those, hearing some of those sounds during the red zone?